Okay, so uh, let me just go through a few of the clips uh, before we get to the president's speech. Um, let's play cut three here. This is a um, uh, this is a, um, a Democrat in Congress. I'm sorry, it's cut five. Uh, David, is it Ciceline from Rhode Island? Listen to this. I don't think there is a single incident, and, I, and maybe there's one, but I've not found one, of a, an assailant using an assault weapon that was stopped by a person with a gun. Uh, so this is okay. a... Stop, stop, stop. Uh, never been stopped. All of them stop with a person with a gun. Every single one of them. Every single one. No, but what the, what are they doing jujitsu? Jiu jitsu? <laughs> They're, They're coming out. Well, there was that slingshot one. They yeah, stopped that, that one, one mass shooting with yeah, a slingshot. Yeah, remember that, that was one? Nice. Yep. Yeah. Goliath yeah. came out with his AR. Yeah. The question is only do you want the people with the gun to be there before the shooting starts or after it begins? That is the only question here. Uh by the way, um this congressman should know. Now he's looked He's looked very hard, and you have to go way, way back to last Saturday <laughs> to find a guy who walked into a party with 40 people. He had an assault rifle. He wounds two police officers and takes them out of commission. And a woman reaches into her purse, pulls out her pistol, and shoots the guy. There's one. Now, that was really hard to find uh, because, well, uh, you know, a Democratic congressman wouldn't be reading the news from any source that would actually cover that. That just happened Saturday. One woman, private citizen, handgun, saved 40 people. So, uh, and here is, um, here's the, uh, the congressman, the great uh, congressman again from Rhode Island who said this. So spare me the bull about the, constitutional rights. With the gentleman not be, No, I will not yield. And I'm not going to yield for my entire five minutes, so don't ask again. Oh, oh the passion, the totally oh, authentic and genuine passion yes. from these people is just yes. incredible. Well, let me show you some more uh, just, I mean, unbelievable uh, passion. It's so passionate that he had to read it. Here is uh, Representative Jones on Guns Cut 14. Enough of your thoughts and prayers. Enough. Mm. Enough. Enough. See, I'm mad. That's why you I'm reading this. You will not stop us from advancing the Protecting now Our Kids to this. Act today. You will not stop us from passing it in the House next week, and you will not stop us there. If the filibuster obstructs us, we will abolish it. If the Supreme Court objects, we will expand it, and we will not rest until we have taken weapons of war out of circulation in our communities. Each and every day, we will do whatever it takes to end gun violence, whatever it takes. What we will do is not fail the children of this country the way that you have failed us. Okay, this is, uh, this is amazing. This is amazing. We will do whatever we have to do to take out guns, these guns, from circulation in our community. Mm -hmm. So get rid of the guns. It's not a purchase ban. No. It's removing no. them from circulation R in the community. Removing them. And they will do anything. If there is a constitutional limit, we disregard it. If you try to stop us legitimately through the votes in Congress or the Senate, we will override it and we'll abolish the filibuster. You left out the part in the script where he bangs his fist on the oh, table yeah. there? Yeah, it, Fist table. I mean, I'm sorry. And uh, if the Supreme Court says it's unconstitutional to do that, we'll wipe them out. Wow. The ends justify the means. It's not just for radicals anymore. It's for everyone. Because seemingly everyone in the Democratic Party is a radical. So... What did the very, very astute, together, wide-awake president say in his speech last night? Well, he came out into the East Wing, and he walked down the red carpet that was all lined with candles. Now, I don't know if behind the flag, 
his lovely wife Jill was taking a bath, surrounded by the candles and rose petals in the water. Could be. But it was a very beautiful and appealing um, image there with the president by candlelight to talk to us about guns. And here he is. Cut 10. For God's sake, how much more carnage are we willing to accept? Oh, I hate that. How many more innocent American lives? Okay, hang on. Can we, add, can we answer that? I say... Uh, I'd say 150. 100, I was going to say 153. So we're in the same ballpark. Okay. Yeah, that's that's right. totally. By the way, that's entirely the standard here of this debate. Yes, which it is. is we are just waiting for the exact amount of bodies Correct. until we adopt all of their policies. Right. And what is it going to take for us to intellectually abandon the principle? Of the Constitution. What's it going to take? Right. It's not that we disagree or think you could solve it other ways or think that the Constitution's important. It's that we d- haven't seen a high enough stack of yeah. bodies yet. And we for don't us really to care. Our minds. As long as they're killing children, Republicans don't care. Yeah, we won't care about that. We, we won't, won't react care. To it. You so. know, here's the thing, uh, Glenn. Every time that you hear them say, we need to do something, mm-hmm. translate that to, we need to do exactly what we want. Right. It's what if we we have passed tons of laws since Sandy Hook. No, yet no, they always no. say there have been we have done nothing since Sandy Hook because we haven't done the thing they want us to do. See, federal based legislation that takes people's guns away because we haven't done that. They say we haven't done anything. Well, we've done tons of things. States have passed laws all over the country, both on the pro gun control side of this argument and the pro Second Amendment side when it comes to things like, you know, uh, making schools more safe as far as uh, security and stuff. All that stuff has been passed all over the country. We've done tons of stuff since these actions have, have gone on. We just Why haven't done avoiding... the thing they want us to Why do. Why are you avoiding the question, just give me the number, dear God? Enough is enough. a enough. fist to table. Oh, enough is a exclamation point. Enough. Okay. Give me the number. Is it 153? The, the is that 153. your final? 153. Thank That's you. the number from Stu. Remember, mine is 150. Once we see another 150, then I'm going to abandon all of my principles. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, next cut, please. Here's what he wants to do. Allows a gun sale to go through after three business days, even if the background check has not been completed. Stop. Stop. Why is that? Why does a background check, even if it's not completed after three days, why do they abandon that and give you your license? Why is that? That seems crazy, right? No. No, it doesn't. When you understand why, a federal background check should take about 20 minutes. When Clinton was in office... It strangely took days, days and days and days and days, sometimes weeks to get it done. When Obama was in office, what happened? Oh, my gosh. The the computers were all just jammed in Washington. They had outages and it would take so long. We're trying. We're trying super hard but we've got dial-up modems here and we just can't do that background check and i thought that was a little suspicious though when you saw the way that they launched obamacare and the website Uh maybe it was maybe Maybe they just were that bad at the computer well no because when bush was in office you could get it in 20 minutes Mm. when trump was in office you could get it in 20 minutes so what is this law that says three days, and if you don't finish the background check, they get the license. That is to ensure that the federal government doesn't do what like states like uh, New York does. Drag it out for months. Make it impossible. That's why that's there. That's there to keep the federal government honest. It doesn't take more than 20 minutes. Okay. Next, please. 
for so many of you at home, I want to be very clear. Okay. This is not about taking away anyone's guns. What? It's about vilif- not about vilifying gun, o- gun owners. Gun owners, Whoa. either. In fact, we believe we should be treating responsible gun owners as an example of how every gun owner should behave. Oh, what, what about okay. responsible gun owners? I respect the culture and the tradition. <laughs> don't walk while you The chewing. concerns of lawful gun owners. Okay, stop, stop. Don't, no, you don't. don't. Swallow your gun. No, you don't. Lawful gun owners aren't killing people. Lawful gun owners are saving people's lives. I don't get the same respect. You you think you're treating me and my friends who own guns and are completely responsible? You think you're treating me with respect by telling me things like, you know, they just let these people, get, they get them without even a background check. You think... You're treating us with respect by saying, you know, these guns blow holes into people and you can't even recognize them. The DNA. Oh, you got to use DNA to to be able to identify the bodies because AR-15s, which is now every semi-automatic weapon, uh, they just, they blow the faces off. People explode. And so you need to have a DNA test done To identify the children. Wow. Have we gotten that quick with DNA testing? Because the victims, you know, as soon as the parents are notified, and that usually takes, well, shorter than it takes Democratic states to count the votes on Election Day. People have absolutely no idea what they're talking about, and they say it with exclamation points next to it to try they're, to make it sound like they do. They are they don't. morons. They're morons. Uh, most of them are morons. There are those like Joe Biden that knows exactly what he's doing. There are those who are running the Democratic Party right now that know exact. They know what the truth is, but they will tell you. That when we banned assault weapons, when we banned them, well, I'll tell you, we saw the murder rate go down. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Every study, including the studies from the federal government, show no difference was made. None. You know, in Chicago, they have uh, rounded up, I think, uh, what was it, 4,000 weapons here in the last year or two, how many of them are legally owned? I'd like to know. Why doesn't it just says the number of weapons that have been used and confiscated because of shootings and everything else. Why don't they tell us were those legal or illegal guns? Because that's where, if those are legal, responsible gun owners, If they're all members of the NRA and they've gone through all the NRA testing, well, then I'm wrong. Hmm. But you're treating me, Joe, as as if I'm the one with the illegal gun that is shooting kids and innocent people in Chicago or a school. We're going through all this stuff for the special tonight on Studios America to debunk yeah, all the really, guns. really, really good sk- special tonight. You need to see it. All the gun myths. And uh, one of the studies that came across was uh, they looked at uh, criminals, people who were arrested and were in prison and gun-related offenses. What they found is about 2% of them had gone through retail sources. Mm-hmm. About 2% of the criminals had re- re- got, they got oh, their guns so they through went, retail sources. They went to a, gu- they went to a, <laughs> a gun show? <laughs> no, that's, that, that's, I bought a gun at a gun show. It was, seemed pretty retail to me. Huh. So yeah. I thought that was it. Oh, no. it must be they got it from their grandfather. No. Yeah, no, not a lot of no. borrowing from grandpa going on really? in the criminal huh. world these days. Hmm. It's almost as if they don't care about your background checks. Huh. Wow. It's weird. But Holy. you know what? Keep the border open because right. you can get your drug, ban all these weapons and pass all these new laws, but keep the Mexican American border wide open and see what happens with yeah, guns. Yeah, because the drug cartel, they're not involved in drug smuggling, no. they're not involved in human smuggling, and they're certainly, 
They stay away from firearms, mm. okay? Especially those illegal ones. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be sure to see similar videos from Blaze TV with the added bonus of signaling YouTube that your voice and opinion still matters. And if you're looking for more great conservative content, check out one of the two videos suggested here.